Aloha, it's Kiana Kayavyav, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. Football fans, the 2024 Football Fever Contest is here. Pick up a copy of the Star Advertiser and submit your picks by Friday to meet or beat the score of the winning panelists each week. Play each week for a chance to win $500. At the end of the season, one lucky grand prize winner will win a trip for two anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. Special thanks to our Football Fever sponsors, Hawaiian Telecom, Long's Drugs, and Alaska Airlines. Don't miss out on the action. Join the Football Fever Contest weekly for your chance to win. The Honolulu Department of Transportation Services will host two workshops this week to gather input on the $63.3 million Alawai Pedestrian Bridge, also known as Alapono. The meetings take place Wednesday from 6 to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Alawai Elementary School. The workshops aim to present bridge design options and solicit feedback for the project which is planned as an 18-story tall structure for walking, biking, and rolling. Construction is expected to start in 2025, lasting three years, with 80% federal funding. Supporters say the bridge will connect Waikiki and Mo'ili'ili while reducing car use. Critics have raised concerns over view obstruction and community impact. The Hawaii Department of Health warns that attendees of the November 2nd Mililani Pet Fair may have been exposed to H5N1 avian influenza after infected birds were confirmed in central Oahu. While the risk to humans is low, those who touch ducks or geese at the event should monitor for flu-like symptoms or pink eye. Symptoms typically appear within 2-10 to 10 days. Anyone experiencing symptoms is advised to isolate, contact their healthcare provider, and consider testing. Pet owners with sick animals should consult veterinarians. Hawaiian Airlines is introducing Huaka'i by Hawaiian, a locals-only program offering quarterly discounts on neighbor island flights. Starting January 8th, Kama'aina can save 10% on fares or 20% if they're Hawaiian Airlines MasterCard holders. Members also receive free checked bags, including sports equipment. Modeled after Alaska Airlines' successful Club 49, Huaka'i aims to strengthen ties with Hawaii residents following Hawaiian's merger with Alaska Airlines. Discount codes will be sent quarterly with early notifications for domestic and global deals. The Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources has received a $10 million federal grant to restore West Maui's reefs, including the Oluwalu Reef, known as the Mother Reef. The project uses a summit-to-sea approach to tackle threats like erosion, wildfires, and sedimentation that harm coral ecosystems. Plans include reforestation, fire breaks, fencing to manage invasive animals, and riparian restoration. Conservationists aim to protect Oluwalu's biodiversity and its vital role in supporting reefs across Maui, Molokai, and Lanai. Funded through federal infrastructure laws, the three-year effort begins soon. Hilo Benioff Medical Center is set to build the $60 million Keao Benioff Health Center to address healthcare challenges in Puna, Hawaii's fastest growing district. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff and Governor Josh Green have pledged $25 million each toward the project. The 36,000 square foot outpatient clinic will provide urgent, primary, specialty, and behavioral health services, serving over 100 patients daily. Construction is expected to finish by 2028. The center aims to improve access to care for a rapidly growing population. Public comments on the environmental assessment are open until December 9. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.